All right, we have a good one here for you guys. We have a pool built in a yard, and it happens to be the low point in the yard. And there's hills on three sides of it, and the water's coming off the high ground. And it just gets stuck between the pool and the high ground. It can't find its way out of the yard. It builds up. It actually builds up to the point to where water floods the garage. Now, there was a really big flash flood in June of this year, and the water built up so high in the garage that it literally, the water was rippled, just rolling in the garage. So Francisco's pulled up some pavers. He's going to create what we call just permeable pavers. You can build a paver walkway patio on top of a French drain and just create a permeable hard surface you know you can't do this with concrete you're going to end up with sheet water with concrete and it just goes right into the building but you can see francisco's got the french drain he's adjusting the height and he's going to put the brick pavers back on top of that we're going to have permeable brick pavers we used a quad pack around that swimming pool And we did a double barrel across the back of the garage. We ran a massive six inch discharge. There was so much riding on this. I didn't want to leave anything for chance at all. There's zero room for error on an install like this. When you're talking about water coming into the garage, not just like damp and wet, but so much water that it's actually just rippling as it's flowing through the garage. We wanted to make sure that we built a system that could handle these extreme flash flood thunderstorms that come through. All right, we don't talk about this enough. I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about using drainage fabric as a weed barrier. Now, I know that the drainage fabric is not going to be as good as a weed barrier. A weed barrier is made to choke out the weeds. It holds water. Water won't drain through a weed barrier. This homeowner that contracted us to build this drainage system in his backyard, he wanted to put the cobble rock all around the pool. And that's what we did. But instead of burrito wrapping our open French drain and putting stone on top, we kept it open as in the fabric was pinned back. Then we went ahead and we laid, after we filled it with you know stone, put the pipe in, fill it with stone, we went ahead and laid a piece of filter fabric, the drainage fabric, across the top and then pinned it. It was five feet wide. And we went around the whole pool like this. Now, I know it's not going to keep down the weeds as well as weed barrier, but by doing this, I'm ensured that the water is going to find its way into the open French drain. You can see that five foot of fabric right there. So we basically just had what you've seen in all our videos, and we're going to show it to you. We'll get back to this. We'll do a cutaway. You'll see that we had a quad pack in here, and we had the trench lined with fabric. We had four pipes in there, and then we filled it with stone on top of the four pipes, and then we went ahead and we took our drainage fabric, and we put five feet wide drainage fabric over top of it, and then went ahead and dressed it with cobble rock around the pool. All right, we're in Rochester Hills, Michigan. We're installing a drainage system. Let me take you through it. This is the discharge line. The garage would get water in it. I'll show you what we did. So we ran a French drain right across the back. We did use two pipes. We use two pipes most of the time. I'm gonna start showing that more often. So we're, we're going around the pool here to pick up all the water. 
And this was done with our laser level. So we have 2% on this, real nice. It's gonna drain great. The water comes and it gets trapped right in here. The water also comes and then it ends up behind the house as it it's funneled through this green belt and trapped. So we're giving the water a place to go. We're gonna take this to a single six inch discharge. The water moves through high octane because of its giant voids. No different than if you had just really large cobble rock, you know, four to six inch. So the water can just move from one pipe in through to the other. Really smart. They got the inside pipe here, they got the outside pipe here, done. Don't worry about it. Put an end plug in there. Or want to create a lot of void that's why we want two pipes it's hard to create that much void from stone even big stone it's hard to create that much void when you think about the void that one corrugated pipe for a french drain system perforated when you think about that that void in the bottom of your french drain that's the whole reason why we're using the pipe because you can't get that void using the stone now we do have a failed French drain over here. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. The pea stone migrated in with the soil. There was no soil separator. There was no non-woven geotextile filter fabric. So you can see that there's just dirt loaded up in the pea stone. No way you're gonna flow water that way. You gotta have the fabric. You see how we put the non-woven geotextile filter fabric down? You guys that don't believe in it, all your systems got an expiration date at the time of install. So the guys are running six inch. This is solid. We're running a six inch discharge line on this. We have a big system. We're collecting a lot of water behind this house. So we can't afford to have this system get choked because of the discharge end. Now, if you don't have the capability of purchasing, hauling, installing six inch pipe, well then just run, you know, a couple four inch pipes. I like my chances with a six inch discharge line because you're displacing more water. We're pretty far off this tree. The guys are great at this. They know their job. You know, they ran this discharge as far away from that tree as they possibly could. But in the event that there was any changes in elevations due to trees, a six inch pipe is more forgiving. You're gonna recover with a six inch discharge. It's one of the reasons why we use a six inch discharge so much. The only thing that competes with a six inch discharge is a quad pack when you're looking at that because if the elevations, if you're moving up and down like this, if you're stacking a bunch of pipe, you're gonna be able to move water still even if the elevations changed from trees. So the guys ran 100 feet of six inch solid. They're putting a double bell external coupler on so we don't hinder the flow. So that's connecting the two pipes from the outside. This is a solid discharge pipe so we don't want no roots in it. So we are using our 200 year tape, super sticky, super stretchy you know, last 200 years, so lifetimes, plural. It's a real good seal, it's nice and tight, it's better than a glue joint, I can tell you that. It's very flexible, pliable. In the winter time here in the north, we have the ground move up and down, and we also have the ground shrink during drought and expand during the wet season. That tape's very pliable, it's gonna move. It's not gonna be like a glue joint. Glue joints don't move, they crack. We've showed you that. We dig up a lot of systems, we show you what failure looks like. All right, we put one of our critter guards on the end of this pipe. 
That way I don't have to worry about muskrats, things like that, I'm trying to make a home out of this pipe during the drought season. All right, we're gonna to connect to these four inch pipes. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We have a custom fitting that we have Boffman tile weld up for us. This is a dual wall, six inch to four inch, really nice. The guy's got external couplers on here. It's not gonna interrupt the flow of the water. They're gonna to connect to the system that's behind the garage. And this is gonna tie right in to the six inch main. Now we do have another pickup point over here. I don't know how friendly a six inch discharge is for DIYer. I know that the pipe is a lot harder to bend. I know it's corrugated pipe and corrugated pipe is known for its flexibility, but we're using Boffman Tile Company's Virgin Yellow six inch for a discharge. It's a solid pipe. This is a solid pipe. That's why the discharge does not have any fabric and stone. The discharge is a solid pipe. But the bend on a six inch virgin yellow, and this is, you know, Boffman Tile Company's really, really thick, heavy wall. The heaviest single wall six inch pipe you'll, you're going to find on the planet. It has trouble making tight bends. I'm just going to put it out there. I mean, we actually have not just 90s, we have 45s for when we have to make a 45. So just letting you guys know that it does have its limitations as far as flexibility. We're used to working with it. We know how to work with it. But you can see when the guys are handling it, they're working at handling that pipe. I mean, it's taking their strength. You know, they're, they're putting, uh, you know, their body weight into it to influence that pipe and especially yard drains, you know, the way we hand install everything in yard drains. You know, we're not, we're not putting the pipe in, you know, mechanically. Here's another tip for you guys, you know, put two wheelbarrows together, you know, nose to nose, and you can fill them with a small mini loader, like the SK-1550 that we're using here. You know, the guys are running up the side of the pool where we couldn't get the minis in, which is unusual not to be able to get the minis in, but this pool was still under construction. There was a lot of open trench and a lot of utilities that were waiting for inspection, so... We didn't want to disturb that. We didn't want to be driving all over that open trench and knocking dirt in on the utilities to this pool. So down this one side here, we're just running a single wheel wheelbarrow right on top of our French drain. Now we'll show you, you know, installing the quad pack because, you know, we did put four pipes in here. I want to make sure you guys see everything. We'll take you through it. And the guys walk down the quad pack really nice, you know, Two on the inside of this um, oval, two on the outside. And I'm trying to build on-site storage. On-site storage. Why do I want to build on-site storage? Because if the ditch that we're discharging to backs up, I want this to be able to take in the water before it floods the garage. Beautiful.
All right, so you guys got to see the open trench before the stone was poured on the quad pack. The stone was poured on the quad pack, and then the guys just laid five feet of drainage fabric over top of that, and now they're just top dressing it just for appearance. So that's what you do. If you're going to have landscape with your drainage system, around your drainage system, in with your drainage system, you want to use drainage fabric, not weed barrier. There's a huge difference. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of fabrics for a reason. And a weed barrier, it chokes out the weeds. It also doesn't allow the water to drain. Water will just lay on top of weed barrier. So always, in a case like this where you're looking for drainage, put a drainage fabric down versus a weed fabric. Now, I know it's not going to keep the weeds out as well as a weed barrier, but your drainage is going to be superior in those two times a year that you just got to spray a little veg kill on what's, you know, weeds pop through is really no big deal. All right, everybody. Until then.